Hi, my name is Mu Pan. I'm originally from Taiwan, but I'm based in Brooklyn, New York. When I was making images since I was very little, and I went to our high school for my first basic training, and then after I immigrated to New York, I went to school visual art study illustration. I'm trained with the skill, but I'm still basically doing the same thing I did when I was four year old making a story, made a story, and then do the narrative imagery on paper. I have a plenty of influence. Visually, of course, everybody, whoever is familiar with my work, they know I have a, the ukiyo-e is a big source of my inspiration and influence. Also, I love Flemish painting, Indian miniature, and whatever with the small figures with the story going on. I like epic battle movie. I found it very beautiful. When I make people fighting, I do even make the sound like even like the, the slashing sound with the metal weapon. I will make the sound like like I fake the clinking sound. It's pretty much the children playing action figure. I start in the morning and then I start working around eight, and I turn the BBC on. And then of course BBC, the news from BBC always makes me angry. And when I get angry, I want to react on that, so I just put something on that, just to amuse myself. I use mostly still drawing technique, but with brush and acrylic on the gesso wood. And also acrylic, I can use watercolor technique and oil painting technique at the same time. And also I can water it down, and also it's more transparent. Imagine if I use, my, I use oil painting with rendering technique, to do all those images, it's gonna be super, it's gonna be too heavy. It will be disgusting somehow. And also the content is kind of heavy, so I wanna make it, I wanna find a balance. When my son was three years old, he was facing his uh, dinosaur obsession period. He loved the dinosaur program. And I feel like, okay, if I can take him to see the real dinosaur, how about I take him to the dinosaur world I invent? So later on, he will, when he get older, if he cares, he can take a look. And so from the beginning, my monkeys are very naturalistic looking, like how the monkey is supposed to anatomy and the scale everything. And then later on, the scale in my image, the monkey gets smaller, but the monkey appears as more and more of a human element in there. Yeah. And then now the current, the one that just finished lately, the monkey start having different color of their fur. So, but they are more and more human. I use a Godzilla in a, in a not, a, not a big one. Use it as a symbol for the nuclear power. And then after that, I just extend it. It developed, developed more to a series with all the monsters from the Toho to talk about what's going on right now or something. Also use the history to present a story. They're gonna feel my energy of those images I create, and then they, I'm looking forward to see their reaction. My version of a Bosch is Garden of Earthly Delight. It's uh, more like uh, my retrospective painting for the past 20 years I've been doing. So some same element, but with a new twist. And all the, everything I've done before, I put a little bit of that. All in that one. The 20 years concentrated in one triptych. I do want to take a little break from battle. It's not like I'm, I'm quitting doing battle image. Um, I just want to do something a little bit different, but still within a little bit monkeys, a little bit something else, just to go as a flow.